My name is Niken Agapi Chuang. I am from just south local government, Plateau State, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. uh, what inspired a career for me was firstly uh, a strong desire for music. I grew up into a family that really loved music and I just found myself enjoying and loving music as I grew. And then the love for God. I, as I was growing, I realized that music is actually a tool that I can use to spread the love of God and to also impact humanity. Well, for, for every single song I put out and for every single time I write, I believe that um, there, there, there are different messages that are formed from my faith and also from the things I've been through and the things I observe in the society. And those are the things that whenever I'm writing music, I tap from. So it's either I'm singing about the love of God or I'm singing about the peace and joy that comes from God or I'm singing about uh, the, the, the power of diligence, uh, you know, peace, joy, hope and all of that. So for me, whenever I write, it's around, it's centered around two things, which is glorifying God and edifying humanity. In experience. Oh, wow. There, there, there are a few, but I think the one that uh, tops it up for me is uh, a testimony I received online from someone who was actually contemplating suicide and they shared with me how God used a song that I had, I had, I had sung and shared out there to speak to them and to really convict them to do away with those thoughts of giving up on life and for me it really was inspiring and transformating for me because beyond just doing what we do is the reaffirmation that comes with knowing that there's actually impact that is being made so for me i would say that is one of the highest points for me of, ins of being inspired from what i do well gospel music firstly it's about the message so someone might first of all listen to a song because of the rhythm Someone might first of all listen to the song because of uh, the pattern of the music. But in the midst of all of that, what makes gospel music stand out is the spirit that it carries. Now, gospel music is inspired by God and the spirit of God flows even through the music, regardless of the genre of music that the gospel minister is singing. So while people listen to the music, unlike a song that might not be inspired by the Holy Spirit, when they listen to a gospel song that is inspired by the Holy Spirit, you discover that there's a transformation that comes to their lives. So I will say the Holy Spirit is the advantage and is the uniqueness in a gospel song that transforms lives. Mm. Well, there, 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 are a range of, there are a range of messages. Uh, for me, it's always dependent on the song. As God lays it in my heart, uh, there are songs that God gives me that are to project, uh, to project Him to people, to help people get a relationship with Him. So songs like that, when you listen, the aim for songs like that is for you as someone who does not even believe in God, to realize that there is a God and to clamor or desire to have a relationship with that God. And there's also uh, songs that God drops in my heart that, like I said earlier on, there's songs that are to inspire hard work. There's songs that are to help people to not give up. There's songs that are to help people to believe in the gifting that God has placed within them. There's songs that are done to, to, to inspire unity, to inspire joy, to inspire peace. So, there's a wide range of topics, but for me, it's mostly dependent on the song and what God inspires in me to do. Mm. So I would want to start by saying that uh, all the things that God makes are beautiful. So what it means is, whether commercial or not, if you're doing a God thing, there's an excellence that it's supposed to come with. So for me, I always focus on doing that thing well. So you cannot tell me that the fact that I'm doing gospel music, then there is a level of excellence it should not have, or there is a way that I will just do it and people cannot vibe to it. So for me, the most important thing is the message, 
But then I believe that as I put out that message and I enjoy myself and I do what God has called me, the impact becomes, uh, the impact becomes secondary and it follows it. So when you, when you see Beryl, you realize that, okay, when you're doing what you love and you're enjoying it and you're doing it excellently, there are times that even unbelievers will appreciate what you're doing. So for me, you don't have to say, uh, I'm keeping commercially successful here, and I'm keeping uh, uh, doing, doing my faith here. There is always a room where you express God and you express Him beautifully that believers and non-believers can love, enjoy, and even have a turnaround after listening. Well, it's, it's really an exciting time to be alive. Because I think from time immemorial, one thing that has been constant is the evolution of music. So uh, I believe there was a time when rap music, people were like, ah, what is this one again? And I'm sure that all of these things over time, so I feel like it is nothing really new. It is just another way of expressing a gift. It is just a thing that comes with generations. And I'm loving how, I'm loving how we have amazing Christians that are not uh, stereotyping certain patterns of music, but understand that the gift in itself comes from God, and uh, you can use a particular genre and still send out a message of godliness, and still send out a message that, uh, that, that edifies people. And for me, I'm here to enjoy all of it, and uh, if you listen to some of my recent songs, you see me exploring some of these new sounds. So I'm really excited about what's happening and I believe that there's so much more ahead. Well, yes, uh, I think for me, till, till Jesus tells me to stop, there will always be upcoming projects. So there are so many songs that we're working on putting out. There are so many videos. Uh, I think the, the hint I'll drop here is for you to anticipate a Child of Grace video, among others. But yeah, there's a lot in the pipeline and I can't wait to share it with everyone. Okay, so you can connect with me online through my social media platforms. Uh, it's Niken Chuang everywhere, N-E-K-E-N-C-H-U-W-A-N-G. So on Facebook, it's Niken Chuang, on, what, on uh, Instagram, on TikTok, on Twitter. And for the streaming platforms, you can find me on YouTube, uh, Niken Chuang. Uh, you can also find me on Spotify, iTunes, and all your favorite streaming platforms. And you can also connect with me on my website, www.mikenchuang.com, and I'm sure that you'll be blessed by me. Okay, so I would love to start by uh, commending you for deciding to go this route, uh, gospel music, because it's not an easy route. And I want to also let you know from the beginning that you will need to trust God and have faith because there will be days that you may feel down. There, there might be responses that you'll anticipate that you might not get. But I want you to be encouraged in the Lord and uh, keep doing well. Keep trusting Him for your inspiration. And please be very deliberate. Promote what He has given you. I believe that uh, He has endowed all of us with gifts. He has endowed all of us with amazing songs and content. So what you want to do is pick up what he has given you, hone that skill, be very diligent with it, and I believe that by God's grace, he will open multiple doors for you and he will lift you from glory to glory.